Hey, this is Doc Fada from the FID team. Today I want to show you how you can use IPFS to store your website and to put it on Pinata to get an IPFS content identifier. So what's IPFS? This is short for Interplanetary File System, which is basically a decentralized network for storing and sharing your data. And you can use that instead of location-based um, hypermedia server protocols like HTTP uh, to distribute, uh, you know, the internet. So I was preparing a small HTML file that is showing something like an extended link tree where I talk about the ether IDs and, you know, where you can find us and how everything is using. So this ether ID HTML file, I want to put on IPFS now. And I recommend you to use Pinata, which is, you know, a very simple solution. I was already logging in with my credentials. If you haven't, so then just sign up. It's for free. Um, and here you can just click on upload, then on file, select the file. And then I'm going to my folder and select this HTML file. And then this is generating this content identifier, which is unique, which is basically a hash. Then we have to wait for a few seconds until it's there. So here you see this and um, you can click on that. And then the first time you access it, it may take a while till it's loading. And uh, basically what this is doing, uh, it's creating a content identifier or a previous CID. And this is, basically telling us, okay, this ether ID HTML file can be resolved with that um, IPFS hash. And here's our website. And you see this is uh, now this hash. And there are two different versions. We use this shorter one, this version one CID, which begins with a Q. There's a version one, which is a bit more modern, which is longer, but for our purpose, we need this short one. And this is why we recommend um, Pinata because it's providing you such a short one. And I will show you in the next video what you can do uh, with that uh, and the other ideas.